Welcome to PAR Podcast, episode 75.41. PAR Podcast is an audio supplement for Public Administration Review, the premier professional journal in the field of public administration. This year, 2015, PAR celebrates 75 years of furthering public administration research, theory, and practice. This episode features comments by Stefan Grimmelhausen, an assistant professor at the Utrecht School of Governance. Professor Grimmelhausen discusses his article, co-authored with Albert J. Meyer, who was also a professor at Utrecht School of Governance, titled, Does Twitter Increase Perceived Police Legitimacy? This article is currently available on Early View and will be printed in Public Administration Review, Issue 75, Volume 4. My name is Stefan Grimmelhausen, assistant professor at the Utrecht School of Governance, Utrecht University, in the Netherlands, and I will discuss my article, Does Twitter Increase Perceived Police Legitimacy? Uh, An article I wrote together with Professor Albert Meyer from the Utrecht School of Governance. Uh, In recent years we've uh, seen a huge rise in um, the use of Twitter accounts by police forces. This is a development I've also seen in other uh, public organizations, but especially the police force seems to be very keen on using uh, Twitter to uh, to connect with citizens, to provide them with information, to ask for information they can use in their investigations. And as such, it's seen as a way of creating transparency and strengthening par- participation. Um, however, the idea behind this is that it uh, supposedly increases the perceived legitimacy of uh, of the police, uh, and so citizens will show more support if they get information and can participate in police investigations. Um, however, uh, as me and my colleague found, there's very little uh, robust and, and rigorous evidence on, on this relationship, and that is why we employed a, a large survey amongst 4,500 citizens in the Netherlands um, to see if there's a relationship between if people use uh, Twitter accounts to follow the police and their perceived legitimacy. Um, in a sense, this is a, this is a unique survey in, in this kind of technological uh, research because it also includes people that are not uh, using Twitter at all or not following the police on Twitter, so it really gives a representative view of uh, what people think. And uh, I just would like to highlight a few uh, interesting findings. And um, first is that there is indeed support for a positive relationship between Twitter use and perceived legitimacy. So that is kind of uh, the good news. Um, However, and that's one of our other findings, is this relationship is very uh, small. So there's not a huge increase if people use Twitter. Uh, Another... um, finding that we had is that we found that only a very small percentage of our sample followed the police on Twitter. Only 3.5%. And this is a re- representative sample, so you have reason to assume that, that, that um, the, the, the population at large, that there's not many people following the police on Twitter. Moreover, hardly anyone have I- indicated that uh, to interact with the police due to Twitter. So only a few people 0.1% indicated they responded to this. Um, so what does this mean? Um, first, we think that our expectations of what, what Twitter can do for, for police legitimacy is, is too high. So with small effects and only a small group of citizens is, is reached. And second is that although Twitter is a social media platform, there's very little social interaction between police and citizens. Mostly people, they consume information in a, in a rather passive way. And so, um, and this is, I think, also a recommendation for, for people in practice working uh, on these kind of issues, is that the interaction between the police and citizens, it's not organized automatically. Um, you have to actively engage in conversations and facilitate this interaction to really build a relationship with, with, with citizens and to gain uh, profit from this from the potential of social media. Um, that's sad, so we should nuance our expectations. Um, we still can conclude that Twitter is a way to, to establish direct communications between citizens and the police and that this it helps, I mean slightly but surely, to strengthen perceived legitimacy. Thank you for listening. This concludes part podcast. 
episode 75.41. To listen to additional episodes and learn more about Public Administration Review, please visit us online at publicadministrationreview.org. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at EA Review. Thanks for listening.